the first piloted supersonic flight was in 1947. And researchers and people understood that the explosive sounds that they were hearing on the ground were being generated by this aircraft that was flying supersonically. Existing uh, supersonic aircraft makes a sonic boom that sounds like uh, a car door slam when you're inside the car or like thunder um, from a lightning strike that's very close by. It sounds very explosive. And a sonic thump, um, we, we envision, is going to sound more like uh, a car door slam down the street. X-59, the centerpiece of the Quest mission, is designed to fly at Mach 1.4. It's fast enough to capture the important aspects of this sonic thump. So the first thing you'll notice is the super long nose, 38 feet, about one third of the length of the vehicle. And that's unique because it spreads out the shock waves that come off the vehicle. So instead of having a forward facing window, we have an external vision system that has a ultra high def monitor inside because if you were a pilot, you would be looking at this long nose. The engine is above the wings here and that's to help reduce the effect of the shock wave coming off the inlet of the engine. And then we have this little T-tail in the back end of the aircraft that helps tailor the back end shock waves. This has the potential to change the way we fly and really bring the world so much closer together. If we can change the regulations and open the market for commercial supersonic flight, that vision of you know, all of us being able to travel in half the time that we currently travel is just so exciting to me.